Hey guys, this is the first you've seen of us in New Zealand. Earlier today we bought a van. <laughs> Mike has already acquired an accent. <laughs> Good morning guys, long time no see. We haven't vlogged for probably about a week just because we have been busy looking at camper vans and getting all ready for this leg of the trip, but we've done it, we've bought a camper van. Welcome to our home, we have a table now. We have started our morning off uh, in a beautiful freedom campsite. We just spent our first night in the van and like it is luxury compared to the RAV4. Like just so many things about it. Me being able to like sit up in bed, I can like stand and like change my shorts behind curtains. So no more awkward like Walmart parking lot encounters where a family is like staring at me while I'm in my boxers. We are now back to the marginally more planned part of the day, which is Cathedral Cove. We're just walking over to catch the shuttle because between certain months of the year, you can't actually park down there. One thing that we've been really confused about, probably because we're in touristy areas so far, is what side of the sidewalk to walk on. Because right now it just seems like anarchy and anyone can walk on any side of the sidewalk. There's no natural flow. So we need to find a local to ask. We've been obsessed with meat pies lately. In fact, yesterday I had two, so I'm sweating them off today. <laughs> Very easily the biggest wave that's landed in the Pacific. So much fun. Oh god. Okay, the challenge is to dive with the wave and body surface. The natural, natural freshwater shower. Oh, it's so refreshing. Oh, that's amazing. How nice is that, though? <laughs> it's kind of cold, but it, yeah, it's nice. Oh, okay, I'm good. We are now back at the van. That scrape that you saw on my back was courtesy of one of the tumbles while body surfing that you also saw on the GoPro. Uh, but there was a ton of fun there. Cathedral Cove is not only pretty, but like the waves there are huge and you can swim. And so we just ended up hanging out there for a while. It's like 4.45 or something like that right now. I think we're gonna head to Taranga now. What do you think? I Taranga? I reckon that's a good idea. I reckon that's a pretty good I No, I, 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 I screwed it up on good. Over the castle on the hill. We have made it to our campsite for tonight. Alana is currently in the van right about there. As you can see, sorry if there's noise going on in the background. We're being accompanied by those, I think there's cicada, cicada. I think so, I'm not sure. Anyways, for those of you who have followed us since the Mark in the Park days, you may remember a little thing called what's behind the green grill. Well, now it is a black grill that came with this van. So that's changed. But one thing that has not changed is that what's behind the grill is ramen. Alana has reappeared and made a friend. Good morning, guys. Another day in van life paradise. <laughs> we have our fancy cappuccinos. Oh, so we are so feeling fancy. our instant cappuccinos. So we are feeling so ritzy this morning. Nothing like just add water, cappuccino mix. <laughs> and we are also having fancy granola that's kombucha infused. <laughs> so like this is the most ritzy morning in the world. Today we are gonna be heading south towards Wellington. In a couple days we're catching the ferry over to Picton to South Island. Uh, so we're just gonna be making our way south, catching some sights today. We don't really know what's on the agenda yet. 
We never do. So we came up with a plan. We are at Mount Manganui, but we're before we hike up the mountain, we're just on the beach boardwalk right now because whenever we can find a source of water, we're filling up our water bottles because we don't want to use our fresh water tank that we use for like dishes and stuff like that. Behind me is something that all pale people can appreciate. In New Zealand, they have these like UV index things. They're very serious about like putting on sunscreen and everything like that. And it tells you like based on the index whether you should find shade or put on sunscreen or whatever. So thank you from one pale person to the next. For the record right now, the UV index is eight, which is in the category of fine shade. Alana is currently oh failing gosh. in the... I keep on dropping everything. <laughs> Can I help or should I just keep vlogging? <laughs> While Alana is filling away and actually being productive, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys that that is Mount Manganui in the background. So theoretically around an hour up to the top. Here we go, it's hot today. It is so hot outside. You definitely feel it when you're in the sun, but it's amazing how much you can cool off when you're in the shade. One of the side benefits of wearing a hat is that it keeps all your sweat contained. <laughs> oh God, when I take it off, it just starts pouring down my face. <sighs> the people that we met at the campsite last night were Kiwis. So I had a burning question to ask them. What side of the sidewalk? do you walk on? And she thought about it for a minute, and she also has no idea. So- No one knows. I am no closer to the answer. Pretty much, I guess it's just chaos here. Walk on whatever side you want. No one knows. It is time to head back down and cool off a bit more. It is, it is just hot up here. Like this hike isn't particularly hard. It only took us what, like? They estimate an hour, but I think they're very generous with their estimates here. Probably took us about half an hour. We are just on our way through Rotorua because uh, we're actually heading further south today. There's some free uh, hot springs a little bit south of Rotorua, but we decided to just quickly pull over and stop by and see some uh, Maori structures as well as these little like sulfur pits. That sounds like armpits, which is appropriate because they are smelly. It's kind of crazy because like it just seems like a neighborhood and there's like some, I don't know if you can see, but there's like backyards back there that just have like sulfur steam coming out of the ground. It's weird. Normally you'd think you'd only see this in like a mountainous landscape. It kind of both smells and sounds like me after a questionable cheese and egg pie. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> hey, Alana, do you think we could cook some ramen in there? I think it Oh. oh, that smelled so bad. That was a really strong lift. If you want to add egg flavor to your ramen. We have arrived at tonight's free camp spot and it is an extremely popular spot. As you can see behind me, like this is just maybe a quarter of it. There's like a bunch of other campers behind me. There's got to be like at least 50, if not more camper vans in here. Uh, but it's beautiful because it's like right on Lake Taupo, which is right there. Gorgeous lake with mountains in the background and everything. <laughs> All right, chef, what are you preparing for us tonight? All right, tonight, chef, we have a toasted crostini topped with a mild cheddar with an accompaniment of a, I want to say poached pear, but it's just going to be sliced pear on top. <laughs> Sounds fancy enough for me. Grilled cheese with pear. <laughs> One adult grape juice for you. Thank you. One for me. That's really warm. It's really warm. Oh, is this kind of like wine? warm? It's kind of like warm vinegar. I think it turned into mulled wine. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we are feeling nice and fed. 
Mm. Nice and relaxed, courtesy of the grape juice. <laughs> and uh, we are going to just chill out. So we're going to end it here, but I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today. And if you did, consider subscribing. It mean a lot to us. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this clearly really voice. tired. And uh, if you did, consider subscribing. Comment, like, hit that bell. It's my podcast voice. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs>